one. Hey, praise the Lord, Brother Rob here, Evangelist Rob, Rob Woods Ministries. I have Stacia, not Stasi. I've been called <laughs> Stasia. So mm, she's that's called okay. Rube or Rob or my <laughs> name is Robert, actually. But Stacia, ha, huh? Stacia. So Stacy was talking with me about behind closed doors about how depression, oppression wants to cling to you wants to stick its filthy claws into you, on you, in you, et cetera. And I did see on her channel, by the way, she does have her own YouTube channel, Stacia, Friend of the Most High, correct? Yes. Stacia, you can give the spelling if you desire, but it's S-T-A-C-I-A-H, hallelujah. Perfect. But Stacy, share about the you know where depression comes from, how to break it, and also the thing you, that the show you did on your channel about worry. How scientifically there are pockets in our brain that trigger, and what can break down your immune system. So, sister, please take your liberty. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, brother Rob. Um, mostly. Um... Like I said, my gift is um, teaching, sanctification, purity of mind, renewing your mind. That's been my big thing. Um, uh, I actually learned a valuable lesson from an anointed elder sister in Christ. And Susan actually on the live um, actually has a similar anointing as this woman um, that helped me years ago. I kept battling depression and oppression. And I mean, I would just for days, just weep and weep and weep and cry and cry. And I couldn't break it. I could not break it. It just, and you know, I'd have like maybe, um, little, little hours of, of joy or whatever, or, or I'd fake it in front of people, you know, but it just come back. I was just living in a depressed state. I mean, I just, I just wanted to be out of here. And it wasn't necessarily a suicide spirit. It was just an oppression. Like I just felt heavy, like this fog over me and I couldn't break it. So anyhow, um, I went through mass deliverance. I know um, a lot of people say once you're a Christian, you, can, you can't be um, oppressed. You know, you can't have demons, you know, and, and I'll refute that. I'll refute that and I'll refute it and I'll refute it because it's a lie. The enemy doesn't want you free. That's why he tells us these religious lies. And I still, to this day, I do self-deliverance. And I've been walking with the Lord, you know, in, in growing in maturity for, for close to seven years now. Um, I was in religion before that. But anyhow, I still do self-deliverance. Um, it's The Bible says if we walk by the Spirit, God wants us to walk so much in the spirit. He wants us every day to walk with him so that he can take those things off of us, those thorns that come at us, you know, or those curses. Um, and anytime we have an open door to the enemy, um, and it's, it's not difficult to get an open door. You know, if, if you, if you fall back into familiar, um, gossip, you know, and you think you're okay. I mean, we're, we're so trained in the world, how to, how to do things the way the enemy does them that sometimes we don't even know until that conviction comes on us. Oh man, you know, did I, did I gossip? Whoa, you know, I did, didn't even know I was doing it, but anyhow, you need to do self-deliverance. You need to, to read the book of acts. You need to read the red letter, read Jesus's red letter. Oh, that'll just, it just feeds your spirit and teaches you how to think you're going to get the character, the mind of Christ. You know, eventually you're going to get to a point where you know when you're when you're out of balance or you're out of out of um, alignment. You know, I always always say that the demons they they like to get us out of alignment. You know, and they tug and they pull, and the Holy Spirit just glides. I mean, it's like smooth as butter. That's how you're supposed to think. You know, we're not supposed to have all this in our minds. You know, we're just supposed to. We're supposed to think clearly and purely and, and no, oh, okay. That's the enemy. Okay. No. Okay. You know? Um, okay. But anyhow, worry. I, I, I did a show, um, just a short clip on worry. Um, I, I do writings, a lot of books, and I'm writing a book currently on spiritual warfare and the characters, the characters, um, traits of, of demons and 
evil spirits, familiar spirits, and how they can torment you and how to get out of it. It's kind of, um, but they've actually done scientific studies um, on your brain to show that whenever you think a positive thought, it actually shows on like an MRI um, scan, it shows a mass, a protein that's actually forming in your brain. And this neuroscientist that I studied, she wrote a book called Who Switched Off My Brain? Excellent book. Um, and she explains how your brain works and how when we're fed information, it actually, or when you speak information. So like if you're constantly saying, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm just tired, you're gonna be tired because you have literally formed a protein mass in your brain that says you're tired. And those neurons are constantly storing like file cabinets in your brain. And, and the Lord um, is constantly trying to get us to renew our minds, to think Christ-like, um, to think pure thoughts, to think good thoughts. And the re it's not because he wants us, you know, because he needs us to. He's trying to save us. He's trying to help us. He's trying to get us to, to, to function and think the way that, that we're ordained to think. Not how the world tells you to think, but how you're made, you know. Um, I, Jeremiah, I can't remember the verse off the top of my head, but it says he ordains you, which means he had a way that he set you up when he formed you and then he put you in your mother's womb. He had a way that you were supposed to think and a way that you were supposed to move and have your being. And the world has, you, you know, however old you are, the world has tried to take that ordained way that you're supposed to think away from you and get you to think wrong, condemn yourself, depressing, depressing thoughts, worrying thoughts. Um, I'm all over the place. Sorry, Rob. Um, but anyhow, back to the, back to the protein mass forming in your brain. It actually, whenever it's a good thought or a pure thought, it forms um, on this scan, this MRI scan, it forms like a tree, like a lush tree full of leaves. But whenever it's a negative thought or an um, hateful, you know, mean, just negative, it forms thorny bushes. So it's like these thorny bushes that show up on the scan, which I mean, I, that to me is just amazing how God, he's, he's constantly warning us. He's warning us, you know, in the earth, he's warning us in our bodies, in our minds. And, you know, it's just amazing. Science is, is trying to catch up with, with the Lord, but they'll never do it. You know, I mean, you, you can't, he's so past finding out, but he gives us these mysteries, these, these hidden knowledges. Um, I slept through school. I mean, I, I partied, you know, I partied hard. So for me to even know these things, you know, it's just, it's just a miracle. Literally. Hmm. It's just an absolute miracle. I study the Hebrew. I study Greek, you know, um, I can read difficult you know, King James or Geneva, and it's all through the Holy Spirit teaching, you know, and they say our brains can hold 3 million years worth of information. So. Wow. The, yeah. Those of us. Incredible. Mm -hmm. You're blowing my mind. My brain's coming out of my earlobes. <laughs> out. But praise the Lord, the anointings on you, sister, pray for the people, please, for not only get free, but stay free, get delivered. But st the prayer of faith, Isaiah 58, Isaiah 61, to be released from the bonds of wickedness. Go ahead. Hallelujah. All right. I'm just going to, uh, since you said it, that's the Lord. I know that's the Lord. Isaiah 61. This, the, anybody like brother Rob says, claim, claim the overflow. Claim those prayers that he's, that he's praying and he's speaking those prophetic words, claim them for yourself. I do it constantly. I want that. I want that one. I want that one. If it's good, claim it, you know? Um, okay. Father God, I just, I just pray over everyone listening here. And I just pray for Isaiah 61 over all of us, Father God, let the spirit of the Lord God be upon us. I had it memorized. <laughs> Oh. you take over lord well praise the lord you know it talks about that there are people that mm. are down not in the natural 
not in a natural prison, but spiritually imprisoned. It talks about a heaviness, those that are poor in spirit, not poor in the natural, but they're spiritually bankrupt, hallelujah. So you can read it and pray it. I got it. You can go for it, hallelujah. I got too nervous. I couldn't memorize. Okay, Lord, I ask for the spirit, your spirit to be upon us because you have anointed us to preach good tidings unto the meek. You've sent us to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give us beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, and the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that we might be called trees of righteousness planted by you, that Jesus Christ Almighty be glorified. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for blessing the people. Guys, if you're new, please subscribe. It'd be an honor. We're also live Mondays, 9 p.m. Eastern. Any specific prayer request, you don't have to be so transparent. You could be vague or more than welcome in the comment section. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.